Energy efficient upgrades make a big difference in every type of building, from energy savings to occupant comfort. The age of a building, tenant complaints, or equipment that requires more maintenance than normal are indicators that a building may not be operating at its peak performance. Luckily, these issues are ones that can be easily fixed with positive results. Low-cost solutions are now available to owners, developers, and property managers to maximize the energy efficiency of their buildings. Existing building recommissioning ensures that building systems operate as intended and meet the current needs of the facility. Studies of building systems and equipment provide a custom solution, revealing exactly where your building could be saving energy. These solutions could be as simple as adjusting temperature set points and implementing schedules to make sure systems aren't working harder than they have to, leaving money on the table. Some of the systems that can be updated include HVAC, lighting, and refrigeration. Making easy adjustments can benefit your building in many ways. Up to 30% lower utility costs. An eco-friendly building with lower operating costs. Reduced repair and maintenance costs and increased tenant comfort. Building owners and operators across Nova Scotia have been recommissioning their properties with noticeable savings for their bottom line, energy bills, and the environment. This is the Mona Campbell building. It's about 10 years old. It was our first LEED gold building. Because of that, we're, we're very proud of it. We hold it a, a special place in our hearts for it. Well, since it was a LEED gold building, obviously there were very high expectations for the performance of the building. And it was performing well, but it wasn't quite meeting our expectations. So we thought that it would be a great opportunity to do a recommissioning to see if we could get the systems up to where we naturally thought they should be. So somehow we had to find a, a balance between the occupants, comfort levels, and still try to improve the, the energy performance of the building. When we worked through the building recommissioning program here at Mona Campbell, we made a number of different improvements such as airflow optimization, we talked about temperatures with the tenants and optimized those. We had humidification improvements in the building which really helped in the winter time for people to feel warmer. Um, and we also had lots of heat recovery and preheat slash solar heat optimization that we did in the building as well that allowed us to um, consume less steam energy at the end of the day. For years, we've been looking for some sort of a vehicle to do recommissioning, but we haven't had a lot of success. So when this building optimization and commissioning program came along, we thought it would be a great opportunity for us to try it out and, uh, and see if it was something that would, we'd have success with. And uh, luckily, we, we did. With the energy savings in the building, we've reached somewhere around 220,000 kilowatt hours a year. And we're talking about a project that has a payback that's going to have a good appetite with just about anybody. So this building was built in 2012, and it's a lead silver energy efficient building. But we noticed that it wasn't performing as well as we had expected. So we went through Efficiency Nova Scotia's building optimization program to have a look at what were the issues and what could be done. So this building has a full building automation system that controls most of the heating and ventilation and air conditioning equipment in the building. And so we went in and we, we noticed that in some cases, the equipment wasn't being controlled by the building automation system. It had been switched into manual mode. We found air handling units that were starting up at 1 a.m. when nobody was here. Uh, the earliest occupants come around 7 a.m. We found dampers in the building that were broken. The study also identified some more cost-intensive measures that could be done, uh, such as a lighting upgrade. So the, the financial savings of the recommissioning project were about $13,500 per year in savings. And then with the lighting project, that was an additional seven or $8,000 per year. So the project paid for itself in less than a year. I started with Armour Group in January of 2015, and we started investigating why is our power bill so high? Why is our demand so high? Uh, really led us to looking into every aspect of the building, from the lights to scheduling of the rooftop units. And we started paying attention to how the rooftop units were working and realized they don't work together at all. They were, they were very dysfunctional, so to speak. We do have a relationship with Efficiency in Nova Scotia and we, we do realize that there are programs that exist to uh, optimize buildings for, for better efficiency and better comfort. I think buildings should be re recommissioned 
every so many years. This building was obvious to anybody that looked at um, our bill, our power bills, and compared it to any other building. It made sense. So the big changes that were made uh, were to the three rooftop units we have that supply air to the building. Before, the three units used to, to act independently of each other. So the biggest change we made was to, was to bring those three units together, ultimately to act as, uh, as one unit. I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, you get an incentive just to do a little bit of research up front, and why wouldn't you volunteer to do that? I would recommend this program to other building owners uh, based on the savings that we've seen, the number of kilowatt hours saved, as well as the uh, reduced maintenance on the equipment and the overall comfort. It was, it was a great program for us. The original savings were expected to be around $26,000 per year, based on 165,000 kilowatt hours saved per year. The actual savings were closer to about $37,000 in one year. It always makes sense to work with efficiency. It saves you money and they make the job so easy and smooth. It's easy and affordable to get your building running its best while saving up to 30% on utility costs. This simple first step will have you and your tenants enjoying the good things efficiency brings. Get started today on low-cost, energy-efficient solutions to benefit your building and tenants. Learn more at efficiencyns.ca slash commercial buildings.